From VOA Learning English, this is the Health Report. International health officials say the number of new Ebola cases in West Africa is falling. But the experts warn this news must not slow the fight against Ebola. The United Nations is still calling for more international help to fight the deadly virus. In late October, officials in West Africa began reporting some good news in the battle against Ebola. The number of new cases is dropping. In Liberia's capital, Anthony Banbury is the UN official responsible for emergency Ebola response efforts. He confirmed there have been improvements in the fight against the deadly disease. Fewer people are getting infected and fewer are dying from it. But, he warns, the fight against Ebola is far from over. In the United States, health officials have expressed hope that a new vaccine may protect against Ebola. The disease has already killed about 5,000 people and infected close to 14,000 others. Lausanne University Hospital in Switzerland began testing the vaccine on healthy volunteers. A doctor who only gave her name as Tina agreed to take part in the study. She says a safe vaccine that works is needed to prevent the spread of Ebola. If the vaccine proves effective, researchers will organize tests with larger groups. French researchers are developing an Ebola test that would give results in 15 minutes. The current test used for Ebola takes 24 hours. Faster tests also are being developed in Japan and the United States. President Barack Obama asked the U.S. Congress to provide $4.5 billion for an immediate response to the deadly disease. He also asked for $1.5 billion in emergency backup money. For VOA Learning English, I'm Alex Villarreal.